All right, let's do this. What's up and welcome to my live unboxing of the Acer Predator Helios 300. Now, I managed to pick this up for $9.99 from Best Buy over Black Friday sales weekend. Now it is currently at $14.99. The price is going to fluctuate, but if you wait for the right time, maybe you can pick it up for that $9.99 or maybe $1,100 price point. I'm not sure what the sales will be like going forward. But either way, it seems like a very promising laptop, a very good laptop, especially if you get it when it's on sale. Now, the live stream, the point of this live stream is to uh, take the thing apart. We're gonna, I got the box right here. It's still unopened. Nothing has, you know, it's still sealed and everything. So we're gonna take it apart. We're gonna try turning it on, seeing if everything works, if we have any issues. Uh, we're gonna set it up. We're going to run a couple of benchmarks, hopefully and maybe test one game and we'll be doing a live stream full live stream benchmarking session for this laptop at a later time so we're not going to be doing full formal benchmarks and nothing finalized for the review for this unit but we're going to check it out and i believe we're even going to try to take the bottom off if it's not too hard i haven't looked up how hard it is we'll see what's up guys welcome to the live stream dark wizard and nevian techies so, how are you doing these days, my man? Good, in the new house, got the new studio set up and uh, good internet, so now I can live stream and I'm, I'm really excited. So, <clears throat> if you guys like this type of content, be sure to hit that like button, it helps so much and uh, it really does. So, let's go ahead and, and check out the, the Acer Predator Helios uh, 300. Right, I've got uh, multiple cameras set up right now. now let's see. There we oh. go. So I got, so I got my Legion 7i. That's, that's what I'm live streaming on. Right, right there, there on, on the desk, desk next to me. Hopefully, hopefully there's enough room for, for everything. everything. Well, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Looks, Looks like, like everything is good. good. Uh, let me go try, try to focus it. There we go. go. All right. All right. Now, now we pull, pull up chat, chat here so I can interact with you guys. guys. If, you if you have any questions while we're doing this live stream, this is basically like, like a live Q&A the, the whole time. If you have any questions on the Acer Predator Helios 300, also feel free to ask them uh, down below. And uh, yeah, I really should grab my box cutter, but the scissors works in a pinch. The audio is starting to echo. Mm. Mm. Let, me, Let me know if anyone else is experiencing the audio, audio echoes. echoes. Oh, oh. Do, we have do we have multiple mics? mics? We, we do, do have, have multiple mics. mics. Boom, okay. That should be better on the audio. Sorry about that. It's a new camera setup. It's the first time I've live streamed with this double camera setup and one of the cameras had the mic running when it wasn't supposed to. So that is now muted. Let me know if the audio is better now. It should be. <clears throat> So I should probably redo that whole intro and then cut it right there, huh? Okay, so let me restart the intro from here. Anyway, it's giving everyone a chance to hop into the live stream that wanted to hop in, so let's just start this all over again. Fixed, okay, good. Thank you guys for the feedback and catching that. Okay, so what's up and welcome to the live unboxing for the Acer Predator Helios 300. I'm here in my new studio. We've got... Uh, the Acer Predator Helios 300 right here. I just broke the seal live on the live stream here just a second ago, but the audio was messed up so we had to re redo the take. Uh, but we'll be checking out the, uh, the Acer Predator Helios 300. I picked it up for $999 from Best Buy during the Black Friday weekend sales. Right now it's at $14.99. If you do decide to go for it, I would probably wait for a sale because at $14.99 it's a pretty steep ask. <clears throat> I would say at like $1,200, maybe it's starting to be a pretty good bargain. At $9.99, it's a very, very good bargain, I think. So let's uh, let's dive into it. So I've got the, oh, I've got, I didn't have the right camera set up for the intro. Oh my gosh, okay. We're going to do the intro <clears throat> one more time. 
What's up and welcome to the live unboxing for the Acer Predator Helios 300. Practice makes perfect. This is my third take on the live stream getting this started. Anyway, uh, I bought it for $9.99. We've got a new Intel 12th gen processor with the RTX 3060 and I bought it for $9.99. So that's a very good bang for the buck, especially considering it's a more modern uh, updated chassis and it's fairly sleek and uh, pretty nice. As far as I can tell from all of the online specs, now, the, uh, we've got it in this box right here next to me. We're gonna be unboxing this guy. We're gonna check out the uh, chassis, the keyboard flex, test the mouse keyboard. We're also gonna run a couple of benchmarks and update it, hopefully. But we're not gonna do any formal benchmarking. That will be in a further live stream later on. And uh, hopefully we won't run into more technical issues causing me to have to redo anything. But we'll, we'll see. It's a new studio, it's a new setup. So hopefully everything runs smoothly. Um, with this live stream, I expect it to be maybe an hour, hour and a half. We'll see how long everything takes to download and install and set up and yeah, anyway. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the unboxing. So we've got a top down camera here. Voila la. So I just broke the tape on this and still technically I couldn't have got the laptop out yet because there's still some tape sealing it here. There we go. Okay, so this is just the outer shell and we've got the inner shell of the laptop right here. So it was a triple, I guess, wrapping. <clears throat> they had an exterior plastic wrap over top of that box. Uh, and then we got an inner box here, and I'm guessing we have an cushions inside of this box. So if you're going to get it shipped, it should be pretty safe to ship this thing. Uh, got a nice Predator logo on the front with the design on the box. It's pretty nice. Wouldn't say the box is super premium on the outside, but it's not the cheapest box I've seen. Like a lot of uh, a lot of boxes are quite a bit cheaper without any logos or anything like that. Okay, so there is. Uh, foam padding <clears throat> and we got the laptop inside of another box inside of here all right and then we've got the power brick right here probably should be the power brick in here yep power bricks in right in here and you can see it's a pretty large power brick it's not like super huge it's very thin at least and it's a pretty high wattage power brick, 280 watts, uh, Chaconi, I believe that's how you say it. And so that's a, that bodes well because that means that uh, they anticipate this laptop's going to use a high TDP on the CPU and GPU. Like, you know, some of those laptops that have very low TDPs come with kind of tiny AC adapters. And you know that they have low TDP on the GPU and CPU for that reason. So... What's up everybody? Welcome to the live stream. What's the clear best gaming monitor out right now? Uh, Max Anderson, I chose the monitor behind me. Um, see that guy right there? That's a 5120 by 1440 QHD 240 hertz ultra widescreen monitor from Samsung. I got it on sale from Best Buy at $899 over the weekend. It's normally $1,500, so I got it at $600 something dollars off. Um, that's, in my opinion, the best gaming monitor you can buy right now uh, if you want an ultra wide. I don't know the best one that's not ultra wide. So I know there's a 4K 240Hz out now. That's probably technically the best, but not necessarily the best for esports. For esports, you probably want to go for like a 360Hz or like 480 or something. But um, anyway, getting back to the Acer Predator. Helios 300 unboxing, 280 watt for a 1270 and 3060. Yeah, it's probably a bit of an overkill power adapter. You know, it doesn't need to be that big, but I like having extra power rather than the power adapter being weak, you know, too weak to handle everything you want to do with it, right? So I'm guessing they use the same power adapter for probably like the 3070 uh, Ti and 30, if there's a 3080 version. I know there's a 3070 Ti version of this laptop on Best Buy for like $1,800 right now. So uh, it's another option to consider. All right, so let's go ahead and take the foam off of here. 
There's the boxes. So this is the third box <clears throat> on the inside. Fourth layer of protection. Uh, so yeah, it should be very safe to ship this uh, overseas or wherever you want to ship it in the default container. Ooh, so I take it off and the laptop lifts up. It's kind of fancy. I like that. It lies within. <laughs> you see that? It lies within. That's pretty great. Samsung monitors are all around really good. What's up, Mel? Welcome to the live stream, Sebishito. Seems 230 watt would be plenty. Yeah, probably, but they probably just want to use the same power adapter in all their uh, models so they don't have to use multiple different parts and that can help them save money more than using different power adapters sometimes, depending on the volume. But, um, okay, so Acer Predator Helios 300. That's the bottom of the chassis. That's the top. Looks like we've got like a mat here with the a holographic logo for the Acer Predator. Let's see if I can get the camera to show it. Um, so we got a holographic logo here. I'm going to use that in the B-roll for this laptop review probably because that looks really cool. Um, and then we got kind of a crisscross stitch pattern along the back. And that looks really good as well. Let's do a fingerprint, finger oil test. Yeah, it's picking up a bit of the oils on the back, but it's not too noticeable. I'm a bit, got a little bit of oil on my hands right now. But yeah, it's not bad. It's not nearly as bad as some laptops. <laughs> They're like glossy and you instantly touch them and it's like crazy fingerprint magnets, you know? Um, <clears throat> so there is the chassis. Here's the touchpad. It's got a nice chrome ring around the touchpad. It's a nice, nice touch if you like chrome. Clicking around the touchpad here. The very top doesn't really want to click at the very, very top, but about 85, 90% of the way down the touchpad, it starts clicking and it's easier to click near the bottom. It's the way most touchpads are these days. Let's see if there's anything else in this box. We've got warranty cards and probably like a quick start manual. International Traveler's Warranty. Some people are actually probably very interested in that. So let me see if I can at least check what it says for the international warranty in here. Where is Acer International Warranty valid? Um, wow. It says turnaround time is estimated to be five days within five, within five business days from receiving the mobile computer product. So it's gonna be very quick turnaround on the, the warranty service, which I'm very, that's pretty impressive actually. Um, during the, during the term, the international traveler's warranty, uh, are only bona fide travelers in possession of the original sales invoice of the product. So <clears throat> I'm guessing this is only going to be, the idea is that if you're living outside of the United States and you buy it, um, you don't count as a traveler. You're just an international person. So I don't know if that... Uh, this part of the warranty would apply to that, but that's pretty interesting though because uh, a lot of companies don't include any kind of international warranty. So I'm not sure if you'd have to pay for shipping on this or what, but either way, it's, it's pretty interesting. Okay. Britt Allen asks, is the 12700H locked? Um, I'm not sure if it's locked, like it's, it's obviously going to be locked for overclocking most likely. Most of the Intel CPUs are, um, but the, it might be unlocked for undervolting. I'm not sure. So what else we got in here? So we got the international, I, did, I wish I could see, I didn't see anything in here indicating how long the international travel warranty is going to last. That's the main thing I was looking for. Um... And I'm not seeing that in here. It's It's got to be in here somewhere. Okay, so one year. It's, lo it's, it's valid for one year of the commencement date of the local warranty. So from the day you likely get the product, it starts. Um, 
And then this is just the regular warranty card right here. And you get some Planet 9 gaming stickers, if you like stickers, which I have never stuck a sticker on almost anything except I think I stuck an Apple logo sticker on my old desktop just for the lulls. Um, back when I was like a kid. <laughs> Uh, Predator Premium Service. Thank you for joining our Predator team. As a member of this elite group, you enjoy the benefits of a premium service for your Predator product, including a one-year limited warranty as well as 24-7 access to a dedicated support team that specializes in the Predator brand. We are here to ensure you have the best experience. And they have the Predator support line right there. Um, so that's pretty cool. I wonder if it's any good. I hope it would be, you know, people that at least speak English well and know what they're talking about. I did have to use the support line for my Lenovo Legion 7i once, and it was excellent. I gotta say, they responded, they got me on the, on the line pretty quick, and the lady knew exactly what she was doing. Um, she was excellent. So, I was very impressed with Legion's phone support at the very least. Um, Alright. <clears throat> so I'm hoping Acer's support is also just as good. Anyway, the stickers here, let me go ahead and get a close-up, and I want to get this thing turned on, get the, get the updates going here. So that's the turbo button. Where is the power button on this guy? It's right here. We probably need to plug in the power adapter for it to turn on, though. <clears throat> a lot of these laptops won't turn on unless you have the power adapter plugged in. Yeah, because it's like, doesn't want to accidentally turn on before the laptop's actually being used, so they usually won't turn on right away, so. All right, let's go ahead and get it plugged in. All right, so we're plugged in the back, and I gotta go under the desk to plug this in. See if it'll turn on now. Uh -oh. All right, let's give it a long, long hold. Uh -huh. This is exciting. This is exciting. Won't, won't lie, the design looks a little dated. Um, hmm. I'd say with the, uh, with the stickers on, it definitely looks a little more dated. But you can take the stickers off. And without the stickers, I think it looks, looks pretty good. Okay, so getting started, to start with, you need to press your AC adapter into the tunnel. Da, 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 da. It's, I think it's... It's got like a, oh, step one, step two. It's not turning on though. We're not getting any response right now. This is exciting. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. We are plugged in. Yep. Do we have confirm? Is there any LED status light to make sure the power adapter is getting juice? Maybe I didn't have it all the way in. This is uh, very anticlimactic, I must say. <laughs> I can't believe it's not starting. It's kind of hilarious that it's not starting. Um, but let me go ahead and read a little bit more to make sure that we're not doing anything. So it is indicating here that if it's kind of sticking out a little bit, it's not in. So I'm guessing maybe you have to Okay. Yeah, there is kind of like an extra chunk 
to the power adapter. That could be the reason. Yeah, so the power adapter, it's just, it did turn on. Yeah, so we, we got power again. Uh, so the power adapter, they even have a little thing here in the notice that's kind of funny, but they have a thing that's like, you're not plugged in unless you're like shoving it in all the way, like extra deep. So there's kind of an extra like little bit of uh, distance you have to push in to be able to get it to go. So that's very interesting. Good thing to know because there's probably a number of people that have returned the laptop because it, it didn't start up for them. <laughs> This stream is not going to be long, huh? Well, we figured it out. We got it back together. But, <clears throat> okay, so it's in the startup phase. I'm going to go ahead and test the flex on the keyboard while we're waiting. So let me go ahead and get it all focused again. And let's zoom in a bit. So <clears throat> there's the machine. Let's go ahead and do up some press around. This feels pretty solid, a little bit of bend, not much. I'm, so understand that I'm pressing very hard, um, harder than you would typically press. And there's some flex right here. This is usually the weakest point between the touchpad and the space bar on almost all the chassis. Um, this is extremely solid over here. So a bit of flex right here, going into the keyboard now. Less flex near the top, more flex closer to the space bar. Decent amount of flex, but not bad, especially for a more mid-range budget laptop. You don't really expect super rigid chassis at this point, at this price point. Maybe at 1500 if you're paying the full 1500 but it's about on par, I would say, with many of the laptops in this price range. Um, so the chassis lid... You got a bit of wobble when you let go of it, but it's not too bad. Um, and it's a pretty good amount of force to be able to move the lid as well. And uh, yeah, this is a bit, a little bit looser than I, I would wish. I wish they would do a little bit harder, you know, a little bit firmer, I guess. Uh, it's probably the, the back metal of the, the monitor, like to, to get it, the whole thing to feel a bit more rigid. Like when I, when I do it on the, um, I guess probably the best way to show you this would be just show you my Legion 7i and you get to know what I mean. So like, like right here, it's very, there's very little room, there's a little bit, um, and it just feels more solid than this Acer Predator. Um, but it is what it is, you know, this one. That, that Legion cost me um, over $3,000, so that's kind of what you get. Now, interesting, so far nothing has come on the display, <laughs> all right? We've had nothing pop up on the display so far. I don't know why again, but um, the, touch, the touchpad is smooth. It feels very nice, and it clicks well. Um, let's feel the keyboard for a second. So the keyboard, um, Acer's quality control at its finest. Yeah, we're not. I don't know if there's anything technically wrong with the machine yet. Maybe it's still doing a startup phase. Maybe it takes a couple minutes uh, to do that. But anyway, let's see. Darren's calling me for some reason. I don't know. Sometimes he calls me when my live stream's messed up, so I'm just, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think that anything's wrong with the live stream. You guys aren't mentioning anything. Uh, probably just an unboxing. Not, yeah, this is not a benchmark, but we're gonna. Uh, my goal is to run Cinebench R23 and Time Spy. Those are the two benchmarks I really want to run, and then maybe be able to play one game. Um, usually, I usually do Valorant or something similar. So, 
We're gonna give this a couple minutes to get going. Oh, AC adapter just fell, it's fine. As long as it, yeah, didn't unplug. Um, and I, I went ahead and put together, uh, I went ahead and put together uh, a list of laptops for the top deals that I found this morning. Um, it's just five laptops that, uh, that I thought were worthwhile. So let me go ahead and pull up the first one here. And so this one is the Lenovo IdeaPad 3. It's a 15.6 inch full HD laptop with a Ryzen 5 5600H. It's only got eight gigs of memory, that's the downside. 3050 Ti though, and only a 256 gig SSD, so a bit smaller on the SSD, but it's only $549. I actually ordered one of these because I want to do an um, unboxing and live stream and test this out because this is probably the top budget laptop that you can buy right now, I think. Um, there are links in the description down below if you want to check this out. Uh, Zephyrus G14. I've done a review on this one, 899. Main downside here is the display is not super high response rate, a little bit of ghosting. So that's the main downside. But other than that, really fantastic laptop, especially for the size. This one, the GF66, it's got an i9-12900H, RTX 3070 Ti. And I did read some reviews on this unit and there is a um, low power limits on this thing. And apparently the display is still pretty outdated. Like it's only, if, if it's the same display, I don't know if it is, if it's the same display, it's only like 60% sRGB on the notebook review version of this laptop. Though, admittedly, it did have a, it's a slight variation of this machine, so it might be a different display. And there are no claims on here that I could find about the color gamut of the display. So, um, that would be my biggest caution about buying this one, is just the, the, the potential display and understanding that it's a low power limit laptop. So don't expect super high performance. Um, if you're going to use it with an external display a lot of the time, then this laptop's probably a really, really good option for the money. We've got the Legion 5i. This is, I think, one of the very best deals on the market. Still available from BH Photo, which I'm like shocked that it's still available. I, like, I don't know how it's not sold out, but uh, 3070 Ti with 16 gigs of DDR5, uh, 165 hertz, 1080p display. It's a 12th Gen 14 Core i7 for $13.49. This is like a really nice deal, I think. I don't think the affiliate link is working with this one, so I'm not getting any money recommending this one, but I still think it's a really great deal, so I've got a link in the description down below if you want to check it out. But the link, like I said, it's broken. Uh, you'll have to click that link and then search for Legion 5i to find this sale. This deal is probably the best deal of the day. We've got the ROG Strix G15 Advantage Edition. It's a QHD gaming monitor, uh, gaming laptop with a Ryzen 9 5980HX with RX 6800M, and it's for $10.99, which is an even more insane deal than I think it was $1,200 during Black Friday. So this is like $100 cheaper than that even. So really, really impressive deal on this one, um, especially at this price point. At $1,700, I wouldn't really recommend this laptop, but at $1,100, that's a juicy bargain. This is the best top deal for today, for sure, um, in my opinion. Uh, so links to all of these laptops down below are available. And uh, yeah, so the last thing I wanna show you is the Acer Predator Helios 300. So this is the one that we're unboxing today. Um, I'm gonna to go ahead and try to restart this Predator Helios 300 while uh, we are, because it's, it's, as far as I can tell, it's not loading. So I'm just gonna force it off with a, a long hold on the power button and I'll try booting it up again. I can tell there's a backlight on the display that comes on. I just don't see any data on the display. So a short press does turn it on. The backlight on the display just came on I'm not seeing anything come through though on the display. So this one might be just a, uh, a return to Best Buy and get a new, new one because the display doesn't work. Um, anyway, so this is the laptop right here that we have, I have right here in front of me. 
And uh, I got it for $9.99 from Best Buy. It was with a super discount deal because the display doesn't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, do you have a new stream schedule? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't have a new stream schedule yet. But I'm trying to do uh, probably like two live streams a week is my plan right now. If I can lock in certain days, maybe we'll try to get something more consistent going on. Um, so this laptop has great, great features on in uh, on paper, but it's very difficult to use a laptop when the display doesn't work. Um, it's a uh, the one of the nice things that it is this laptop has NVIDIA G-Sync, so that helps prevent screen tearing. Uh, 165 hertz refresh rate with a three millisecond overdrive response time, so hopefully it's very responsive to use the machine. Great for esports, even though 165 hertz is a little bit on the lower side, it's still very, very good. Good enough, I think, for most people, as long as the response rate is good. Now, it's supposed to have a 140 watt um, GPU, which is really good for especially a laptop of this size. Uh, again, can't use it if the display doesn't work, but that's, uh, that's the thing. Anyway, this is supposed to have liquid metal on at least something in here. I don't know if it's the GPU and CPU, but it says on the sticker here, liquid metal with Gen 5 Aeroblade 3D fans. Ooh. Okay, so uh, DDR5 fast data transient, so it's like the, the RAM, uh, Pulsar lighting keyboard. Let's see, can I get the keyboard backlight to light? It's not lighting. Um, I don't know. Anyway, it's a cool, cool laptop on paper, but we're gonna have to get a different unit if we're gonna get it to work. So that's hilarious. Well, uh, wait, should I try an external display? Try an external display. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I don't have a good external display set up to test, but I mean, I could bring it over here and why not? Let's just, let's do it. it the DOS, it was like a DOS beep at me when I unplugged the power. Um, I probably should keep the thing plugged in. So let me snake this power adapter over there. There we go. And, uh... I should have an HDMI back here somewhere. I need to do some cable management back here. That's on my to-do list. All right, which, which one of these guys is an HDMI? Okay, here's the HDMI. We are plugged in, and we gotta switch the port. I switched it to the HDMI. It's not getting anything, I don't think. <laughs> um, this might be just like a bad SSD. I don't know, it's it's not even showing like a boot. Usually there's some, some kind of like a, you know, you know, like an Acer logo or Usually there's a company logo that pops up first, so it might be something wrong with like even the BIOS of the machine. Um, or maybe the, just the display is not connected, I don't... Oh, interesting, so the, the internal display flashed when I plugged in the HDMI. But, yep, so... The laptop looks really nice, in theory. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, so uh, instead, I guess, for this live stream to end it, I'm going to give you guys a little mini tour of the studio here. Um, should be pretty interesting. So I'll kind of give you how I got it set up and might as well. <laughs> And I'll have to get a new version of the Acer Predator and uh, and do a follow-up live stream. Okay, so 
Uh, behind me here, these lines, they're called Nano Leaf lines. They're really cool. I've got 45 of them set up. The last one is a little bit crooked, a little bit off. Um, but you don't see that when I'm just live streaming normally. And uh, I've got a 110 inch projector screen here set up now. This is a Vivor projector screen. And I really like this um, projector screen. It's, uh, it costs like a little over a hundred dollars. So it was very affordable, but it's got an aluminum frame with a felt, black felt um, around the outside. And it feels really uh, premium for the money. Um, so I've got along the walls here, I've got sound padding. I can turn the light on. There, now you can really see. Um, so I've got soundproofing padding all along my walls here. And uh, here's the corner that I'm filming out of. And you can see I've got more soundproofing all the way around the room. And I've got a doggo right there, doggo number one. Doggo number two over here, this is Hero. And he's a Min Pin Chihuahua mix. So I've got a, uh, a love seat sofa right there. And we got Zeusy getting in his little mini dog bed right there. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's the live stream studio for anyone that's been curious about it. The projector up there is a 4K 60 hertz or 1080p 240 hertz projector. Um, and it's, it's a really cool, it's a really cool uh, projector. And it has a 100% DCI-P3 color gamut. So I'm really impressed with it overall. It's the, uh, the BenQ X300i projector. Okay, uh, Melm says try an EC reset while plugged in just to be sure. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, maybe. I guess we could take the bottom off and see what's up with that. We were planning to take the bottom off anyway. Wow, this thing's getting hot. It was starting to put out some juice. Um, it's a bit weird. Like, the thing's not even into windows, and it's like revving the fans really good. All right, so we'll take the bottom off for this unboxing. Oh, I didn't have the camera in the full view for the, the live stream. Ooh, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure exactly how to do the e, uh, do a BIOS reset on this Acer Predator. Uh, I can maybe Google it. Okay, so now that we're in the full camera view, I will do a new kind of overview of the room. So there's the projector screen and uh, we got Hero napping over here. There he is. And there's Zeusy in the dog bed right there. And you can see all the cable management I need to do. I've got the Quest 2, the Quest Pro, which I'm doing a, creating a review on, and the Pimax 8KX right there. And uh, yeah, all the soundproofing in the room as well for the studio audio. And there you go. Okay, so now that I did that, there we go. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the little studio preview action. Um, okay, let's take this thing out. Uh, let's take the bottom off of this bad boy. Looks like it's just a Phillips head. I think there's a link in the description to, so I think there's a link in the description to this iFixit kit. I'm not sure though, there used to be. Um, I copied my old link description, video description, so should be one in there, I don't know. Um, but this is what I use to take off the laptop bottoms. It's, uh, it's a really great tool kit and it was worth the premium cost in my opinion. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more on the unboxing action. There we go. All right, let's pull up chat again. Melm says, unplug it, hold the power button for one minute and 30 seconds while unplugged, then plug it back in and start it up. 
Did you did you Google it, Melm? We can try it. If we don't have to take the bottom off to reset it, we can try it. But I mean, I was gonna take the bottom off anyway. I'm already partially there, so let's just go ahead and finish taking it off. But uh, yeah, you have to check the warrant, the manual for each laptop on how to reset the BIOS. But I, I would guess most likely something's wrong with the BIOS because we're not even getting any kind of post. Either something's wrong with the BIOS or like the monitor is not connected. Like something's wrong with like the monitor cable or cable connection would be the next thing I would guess. Warranty voided. No, you don't, you don't void your warranty for taking the bottom off. That's not true. Um, even if they have a sticker saying that uh, your warranty is voided if you remove the sticker or whatever, it doesn't matter. The... Um, the warranty, there was, a, there was a law passed that uh, I believe, don't quote me on this, <laughs> but I'm like very confident. There's a law passed that basically says that you, you can take the bottom off and modify your electronics as long as you don't damage it, then whatever you damage is not covered under warranty. So if you, if you do cause damage, then yeah, that's not covered, but uh, the manufacturer has to prove that you caused the damage or it wasn't shipped that way, basically, is my understanding. Um, okay, so I don't know exactly how this bottom comes off, but... Isn't it a GPU problem? Um, it could be, but I'd say it's less likely. It's more likely to be like some, a connection issue or a monitor or a BIOS. I think BIOS is the most, most likely. But it's a little bit hard for me to believe they didn't at least try turning on the machine. Um, let me go ahead and just Google real quick. Uh, let's see here. Uh, There's another screw I didn't take off in the middle here. All right. All of the screws are out, I believe. But, yeah. All right. I'm just going to check. Yep, everything looks pretty standard for the removal. Yep, okay. So we just gotta get this thing to start popping up. Just getting the first initial pop is sometimes the hardest. Because right now it's not, not wanting to pop. Uh, so I'm using a plastic prying tool that's included in that iFixit kit. I might need to use a little bit stronger one. This guy right here, I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. But uh, this guy has a little plastic edge on it. There we go. So now once once you get it up, then I, use, I like to use this softer plastic so you're less likely to do any damage or anything. And it kind of helps just pry the rest of it up. Eduardo asks, wait, the laptop's not turning on. Uh, so the laptop is turning on. The display is not showing anything. That's, that's our current, currently where we're at with it. So there's the bottom off completely. Uh, notice that the RGB strip in the front actually does not come off with the bottom. That's kind of nice. Uh, so taking a look at the bottom here, Looks like we've got another SSD slot open. Let's see if I can, can I zoom in on this guy. Let me turn it sideways for the, the stream to see here. But uh, we've got the existing SSD right here. We've got the Wi-Fi slot right here. Um, this is where the RAM modules are most likely. This is kind of like a heat shielding 
Um, we've got the CPU and GPU right here uh, with all of the heat pipes. Looks like we have two dedicated uh, heat pipes. I believe this is for the GPU over here. And, uh, and then we have two shared heat pipes between the CPU and GPU, and then one dedicated heat pipe for the CPU. Um, and then we've got another SSD slot right here, so you're ready to upgrade to another SSD right out of the box without having to take and remove anything out. Um, we've got the speakers on left and right, right here. And overall, seems like a pretty well-designed under chassis with easy access to all of the things you would normally want access to. <laughs> Ace of you watching this like, <laughs> I know, right? Sucks, sucks for Acer. It's really bad that it doesn't want to turn on for sure. Okay, that's backwards. All right. But overall, I really like the chassis. The chassis feels good. Um, let me also Google how to do BIOS reset. BIOS 300. So I'm, I'm Googling right now. Let me go ahead and just, I'll put this into the other window so you guys can see what, how I look for things. But, <clears throat> okay, so I just, I, how to reset BIOS Acer Predator Helios 300 2022, how do I reset my BIOS uh, UEFI to default settings, press and hold the power button for 10 seconds or until your system shuts down completely. This is what Acer has on their website. So you press and hold the button for 10 seconds to shut down your system completely. Power on the system as soon as the first logo screen appears. We're not even getting a logo screen to appear. Um, immediately press F2, notebooks, delete desktops, enter the BIOS. So this is press F9, then enter the default configuration. So that's basically resetting the, the BIOS settings. But we want to completely reset the BIOS, which is, this is different. So, remove the battery. So this is indicating how to hard set a re reset Predator Helios 300. How to hard reset or Acer Predator 300, I want hard reset. Um, we don't want to just hard reset it. We want to reset the BIOS. Reset the CMOS. Usually, so the CMOS is your BIOS battery, basically. Um, I'm not sure if laptops are still using CMOS, uh, CMOS batteries or not, but typically speaking, what you can do is going to get back into the under chassis here. Um, see if I can identify the CMOS battery, if they if this has one or not. I'm not really sure what lap, modern laptops are doing with the CMOS. Are they still using CMOSes in these things? I'm not seeing one. Usually desktops have them. Laptops, I don't remember seeing them for a while. I haven't need to, needed to reset my CMOS in a long time. Um, I'm not really seeing anything right there. Uh, Eduardo Drux says, people say this could be the RAM. Unplug the RAM and plug the RAM again. So you're thinking of reseeding the RAM? It, it could be related to the RAM. I think it's unlikely. Um, I'm going to unplug the battery here real quick. Okay, so the battery's unplugged. You always want to unplug the battery before you start touching the internal components usually. Um, all right, 
right, so there's the RAM cover. Oh, there is a little screw for the RAM cover, though. Didn't see it at first. But it's mostly just held on. So you're thinking maybe reset, reseating the RAM might help, huh? So here is the RAM. It's reseated now. I don't know if this is actually going to help, but we'll give it a shot. Probably not going to help, I don't think. Melm says, it's usually under the main M2 slot nowadays. Um, yeah, I don't see any CMOS, at least right off the bat. I don't, and there's nothing underneath this SSD. So, let me, oh, I'm not in the right view again here, so. We should be in the right view again. So I went ahead and popped the memory off, uh, out, took the cover off, and popped the memory back in. And I've got the SSD here. There's nothing, there's nothing underneath this SSD right here. It's just got this little chip right here. I wonder where the monitor cable connection comes in. You know, this thing right here, no, that's fine. I think that's in. Just kind of looking at all the connectors in here, making sure that we're all plugged in. As far as I can tell, everything looks like it's seated properly. I'm not an expert on this front, though. Um, all right. Unrelated question. Are you running the latest BIOS on your Legion? Uh, I believe I am. I, I, want, I had to update it because it was glitching out on me a little bit. Um, I, I'm also running a custom the unlocked Legion fan control app, which is like a user-generated thing, um, so that I can run max fans if I want to. Anyway, okay, so got to put the battery in here, back in before we before we put the lid on again. Sometimes I forget to replug the battery in it. It sucks. Because <laughs> then you have to put the lid, take the lid all off again. Okay. All right. Anything else we should do before putting this lid back on? I don't think so. Yeah. What? I mean, I, I'm just. I'm mainly just taking the bottom off. Uh, so Ellie says, uh, why bother when you can just return it for another unit? We'll be waiting for another live stream. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what we're going to do. Um, but it's fun to try to troubleshoot and fix things sometimes. I enjoy it, you know. It's kind of interesting to see if you can figure out what the issue is. Um, increases my knowledge and your knowledge if we could, if we could fix it. But... Um, yeah, I need to do a little more research on what laptops are doing with the CMOS uh, batteries. And I'm really curious. That's one, of the, that's one of the things I'm really curious what modern laptops are doing with that. Um, sometimes, I, sometimes there's like a reset switch and that like cuts power. or so, I don't know. There's, there's different techniques that different companies use, I think, these days. So... But I just need to do some more research on that because I'm curious and I want to know in the future. So that way I know instantly what's going on. Been watching Gizmo Slip since before he was chopping phones in half with swords. Nice. 
Uh, glad you could tune into the live stream. Fix or flop with Gizmo Slip. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a new series! <laughs> this is, the, is this the first laptop that wouldn't boot on doing my unboxing live streams? I th think it is. Is it the first one? I think it's the first one. I'm a little surprised. But I knew it was going to happen eventually. I know we've had a couple of technical issues in the past, but we've always been able to resolve them. I don't know. All right. I press the power button. Let's see if anything happens. I don't think anything's going to happen. At least Acer backplates are easy to take off. Yeah, that's true. I really like that. Oh yeah, the Strix Advantage Edition wouldn't want to start for me, but that rest that that ended up restarting for me after just a, like a, a little bit of messing around with it. So Yeah, the machine is running, and we're still not getting anything to the display. I mean, the display has a backlight that's coming on, but no information going to it. So uh, this is just a return or, or a swap, I guess is what you're going to say. So sorry, Acer. We'll have to try again next time. So I've got the Legion. I've got the, let me go ahead and go to this other cam. Uh, let me show you the two laptops that I have coming in that I'll be checking out as well in the near future. Um, so I've got this Lenovo IdeaPad Gaming 3 coming in, this exact model. Um, so I'll do a live unboxing and benchmarking of this one. That's probably not coming in for like another week or so. It's delayed shipping. Um, and then I've also got an Acer Nitro 5 coming in. So it's this uh, $799 version. And I did get to check this one out in person at Best Buy. And I gotta say, the Nitro 5 is definitely a big upgrade from like a year and a half ago when I saw the last version. Um, so like this new version is a lot more sleek it's a lot better designed and it feels, I wouldn't call it super premium, but it's definitely in the same ballpark, I think, as this Predator Helios, um, which was a surprise to me. Anyway, so I've got this exact unit as well. It's got an RTX 3050 Ti with 16 gigs. So anyway, we'll see how those, those go. Hopefully they go better than this one. <laughs> uh, Anyway, we tried the HDMI. Yeah, Fisherman, we tried plugging in the HDMI into the external monitor. We got no signal or anything. So, okay, so this Acer Predator Helios 300 is going back to Best Buy, and hopefully we get one that works for the next live stream. Um, that is one great thing about buying from Best Buy. They have an excellent return policy, so it doesn't cost you anything to return it even if there's something wrong with it or if there's not anything wrong with it. And right now, I think the return policy is like through January next year. So it's like uh, 60 days or something like that return policy, which is pretty insane. So guys, we will pick up this live stream again when I get a new Predator Helios 300 in. And uh, yeah, so I'll, I'll, be, I'll be doing some more live streams soon. And yeah, look forward to it. Uh, there are links in the description if you want to check out some of the laptops that I talked about earlier. Again, probably the biggest uh, deal right now on the market, as far as I can tell, is probably this guy. The Acer, uh, Asus ROG Strix Advantage Edition for $1099. That's just a tremendous amount of performance for $1100. Um, link in the description if you want to check that out. Anyway... I will see you guys in the next one. I look forward to hanging out with you again next time. Peace.